Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, finally found some time to do some more work on the generator. Um, still waiting on a few parts. Um, I'm all lined up to get to make the heat exchanger, but I'm waiting on the pump. And last minute I decided to go for a crankshaft driven or camshaft driven water pump. Um, which is basically what comes in the, the, the beta engines. Anyway, so today I'm going to be start making the frame to, for it to actually sit on because my little my little stand is sort of giving up a bit in the middle, so I need to make a decent frame. I'm a bit nervous about it falling off and stuff. So um, yeah, so today we're going to make a frame for it to sit on, but maybe it's going to be part of the box. So I want the I want the lot to be like a big drip tray underneath. So if there was any leaks, it sort of contains itself within the within like a, I've got a nice piece of stainless steel which which can go underneath. So. That's what we're going to do today, let's crack on. So as you can see here, my wooden blocks are sort of twisting in the middle because of the um, because of the, um, the stand. So we're now going to be making a box section ring to go right round to carry all the mounts equally. And then we're then going to go off the box section, I'm going to go lower for my drip tray. So that's the plan, let's get stuck in. So if you remember, we made this cardboard template of the of the bolt patterns this is upside down at the moment so we now know we need to make a, a frame of then dimensions and that clears the sump because this here was the sump cut out so let's see what material we've got so we sort of store our metal outside which isn't ideal really but it's kind of difficult to store like seven meter long pieces of um, steel inside so I think we're going to use 40 mil box section which is this because it will gain our height nice bit of strength to it so let's try and get that in the workshop Okay, so these are all cut to length now. So we'll put them over our little cardboard guide. So the thing we need to consider is the weld seams. So there's, so there's always basically a weld seam on tubular or box, well, unless it's seamless, but... Um, so what I don't like is drilling through it because it's usually harder on the seam. So I'm gonna point all the seams inbound because obviously we're going to have to drill these holes. So all the seams go inbound, and then we're going to weld it together. So we've now cut a piece of material, piece of wood, and basically the right dimensions for the internal. So I know it's bang true square, so we can then clamp it all up, tack it up, and then we know it's going to be pretty accurate. All right, time to weld her up. Not the best welding, but not really the worst welding. Um, as you say, it only took a, about two or three minutes, maybe. I don't know. Three minutes forty-two. The camera's been rolling. So we've got our little sub mount uh, welded up. We now need to make the frame now for the bottom. So let's um, figure that out. So I've done a very, very untechnical drawing. This here is the engine. This is the mount we've already made. So this connects to the rubber mount, the rubber feet on the engine. So now we need to make like a perimeter mounts, but also the sides are potentially gonna attach to this. So we need to try and 
figure out how large our casing is going to be. So we need to allow for, I've mounted the hydraulic pump, which we won't be using just yet, but we're going to save the space for the pump, because you never know. And I've mounted the alternator. The airbox is going to go here, I think, because it's nice, nice little space, but just thrown it in. So I've allowed for, so it's not easy to do it on your own, 700 mil that way and 550 that way because I also want to um, allow a bit of space for like insulation sound deadening so that's obviously going to go inside so I'm going to try and make a stainless box for it but we need a good base don't we so let's make a good base now and then we'll worry about that later but it's a bit oversized I would have liked to have made it a bit a bit smaller, but um, we're not massively short on space in the engine room, so should be good. So I've done a quick drawing, so 700 be 550, believe it or not that says 550. So we're going to cut them all on 45 degrees, um, so we're going to cut them now. Okay, so we're all cut on 45 degrees, I've cut me piece of wood for the centre to act as a square um, just need to weld it up now so we've now got both both pieces together I've worked out from the bottom of the sump plug to the, the base of this is 90 mil, but I've allowed 100 mil. But we won't be extracting the oil through the sump plug. We'll be using like a vacuum pump sucky thing. So anyway, so these now are setting the height. So now I need to work out left to right, back back and forward on the location that that this has got to be in relationship to the the bottom base that the sides are going to be attached to. So. Okay, so we've calculated our positions. We've got them mounted up on some offcuts of oak from our frames. So we've got our forward marks. It measures 70 mil between there. I think it was 130 from the outside to the centre of the mount. So we're going to be basically welding these into there. I've been looking into doing all sorts of posh mounts and funny angles and stuff, but. Structurally, I think that's the best, and then we can always put a little, little gusset in there or something. So we now need to weld all this up, but first we need to grind, grind these welds flat, so these these pieces here can sit flat against these. Technically, we didn't even need them, but oh well. <laughs> So this is all welded up now, hopefully it fits, well, that's our next job I think. Have a quick tidy up, and then I'm going to attempt to lift the engine and put it on to his new mount. We'll see. Okay, so we need to now get the engine off the trolley and onto the stand. Um, I've been trying to think about setting up some elaborate sort of winching system and stuff like that. And, to get the fault lifting here, it's a nightmare. I've got to take vans out and I'm gonna try and lift it. I've got it the wrong way around. Woo! 
There we go. Straight onto the mountains. I think it's going to take a breather now. Okay, so she's all on a on a mount now on the rubber. Um, she's still a bit wobbly. Um, so got to increase the size of these 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 donuts. Did they call them? Not donuts. You know what I mean? Engine mounts. So I kind of regret picking it up. Shouldn't pick things up like that, but we made it. Would have been better if the um, if the mount was the right way round, wouldn't it? But never mind. Right, so I'm going to wrap this up now. i um, got to go and edit this. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you next time. See you later, guys. Bye.